Hello everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we are making the Grumman F-14 Tomcat. I hope I said that right. <laughs> now the Tomcat is quite a very interesting design. Uh, I found out, like I was looking online to, to actually get some images so I could actually make it in KSP and I was wondering like why are there two different images? You got one where the wings are back, one where the, the wings are in the center. What's going on? And then I found out that the wings are actually variable. So the plane has variable sweep wings that can pivot from like 20 degrees to 68 degrees. So that, that has uh, different functionality. In fact, I'll read something here. Uh, when it's about 20 degrees, which is pretty much almost centered, the, the wings allow for much better control because the center of lift moves much more closer to the center of mass better control there and for like for when you when you're going at much higher speeds if you adjust the wings to be about like you know 68 degrees then that reduces the aerodynamic drag and therefore you can go much faster so i really like this plane it's awesome but uh in this case we're not making it weaponized for now because uh this is also going to be in a cinematic that i've been talking about for a while now uh but I'm going to need a mod for that. So when I get that mod, I will have missiles and what other, every other weapon I can think of on this. And I will make that avail available to you guys eventually. So for now, not weaponized in the future, weaponized with a mod. Okay. So there we go. Uh, otherwise, let me just quickly, quickly, I've got a few things here. Okay. Now for the cinematic, well, for the next couple of episodes, we're going to be making a Typhoon, which is a Eurofighter Typhoon. It's a plane design. It's uh, got dual engines. I've already actually made that, actually. <laughs> already actually made that. I'm saying actually too many times today. Yes, I've made that, and I've got the video. just have to render it. I may or may not make a quadcopter. I'm considering that, and I could put like a missile or something on that maybe and there's other helicopter concept designs there's something called destiny hx32 that might be the name i'm just looking at the image and that's the image name that may or may not be correct but that kind of looks cool we might have that for the cinematic also i have the peacekeeper mirv to make that looks cool and what else uh there's Maybe we might make the Goblin. There's something called the McDonnell XF85 Goblin. It's like this really ugly, small looking, I think it's a jet. I don't have any images right now. I might make that, might. So some of those things might be in the somatic, some might not be. There we go. Now, in obviously KSP, in order to make sweep wings, you need to use a mod to do that. Uh, therefore, we're not doing that. Okay, we're not using sweep wings. Well, we're not using adjustable sweep wings. They're just static. They won't be moving. They will be like almost in like the 68 degree position. Like, yeah. So there we go. That's about it. Yep. <laughs> Simple enough. I don't think I have anything else to say. I mean, other than I use some pretty interesting design techniques. I mean, look at that. You see how the wings are wrapped around the actual fuselage there. I find that interesting. And in the actual design, uh, in the very center of the jet, you kind of have this curved shape in there. And that's why I have the tail connector on the actual design here, as you can see. And it makes a little curve in the center. And I think it looks better. And the more wings, the better lift control you have. And I must say, I couldn't get I couldn't get this to spin out at all. So I think that's a good sign. You'll see me doing a flight check. I think this is the first time I tried flying it. I think. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. 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 This is the first time. And then the next time, I ended up putting a few struts to just fix it up. Because if you take a look, take a look in the back there, it seems a little wobbly. Yeah, this is where I fixed it now. I've added a few lights, which I don't know whether the actual design has lights or not. But anyway, that's an extra. Actually, you know what? The lights are from the landing gears. Yeah. But in real life, I don't think the landing gears have lights. Wait, do they? You guys tell me. Do landing gears have lights usually? Yes or no? That'd be an interesting question to have solved. And again, we're using a mod for the engines there. We're using the Hot Rockets mod just for the looks. Nothing else. You don't need to download that mod. This thing will work perfectly fine with stock. But other, other than that, I think we're pretty much done. We've covered everything. Ah, one more thing. 
the Peacekeeper missile, man, I'm going to need to seriously figure out how to get that done. Is there a mod that has like MIRV parts? If it if there is a mod that has that, then please tell me. Otherwise, I can easily make this in stock. But I wanted to like make a good explosion, like a very big explosion. And here I am just testing a plane at high altitude, which you know obviously doesn't do too well. It didn't make it for high altitudes, but there we go. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.